Hi everyone, I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. Two days ago, I started a brand new backpacking trip in La Paz, Bolivia. I only booked three days in the city, so I thought I'd get myself stuck right into action and booked onto one of the most famous attractions to do here, and that is mountain biking down Death Road. Its official name is North Youngest Road, I hope I'm saying that correct, but it has been nicknamed Death Road because of its steep slopes, narrow single track, lack of guardrail, and excess of rain and fog. So today I will be cycling down the famous death road and it was an early start as the tour picks us up from the hostel around 6 a.m. Buenos dias. Muy buenos dias. So guys, let's get into business. First of all, I'm going to introduce myself and my whole team once more. I am now, so you can call me now. I am 26 years old. Over there, behind of you, you got Gandalf. His nickname is Gandalf. <laughs> He's working in here since 2017, if I'm not wrong, as well. Really good friend of mine. Okay, they've got breakfast for us. We hey just guys, take... come this way, everyone. We could just take any of them? Uh, pretty much, yes. No? So, chicos, okay. a little detail though. <laughs> guys, in here you're gonna have some hot water, guys, and in here you got some chicken soup. Don't get them mixed, okay? That's it, taste <laughs> Guys, inside you got some scrambled eggs, some apples, some yogurt, so on. Please, guys, first round. Thank Attack. you. The best coffee I've ever had, but you know, <laughs> we are on a mountain, so <laughs> divided in two sections. First section will be on highway motorway section for 20 kilometers, guys. Once we are ready with the first section, we gotta put the bicycles back on the top of the van because there are eight kilometers of uphill, and I'm dead sure nobody wants to do the uphill with the bicycle. So we will drive straight to the beginning of the real dead. This is so cool. Looking fab. Okay, the first stint is complete. I think we just did like 20 kilometers. It was all along the road, so we haven't arrived at the actual death road yet, but that was absolutely incredible, just driving through the valley. And what's really nice is that the whole thing's downhill, so you're not actually pedaling at all, which is a good thing because I think I would just, I would be wheezing. I don't think I would be able to because the altitude is so high. So we've just stopped here just for a little chill break before, I believe, down there is where we are going to be heading next, the actual death road. Bah! Okay, I lied, we're not going down there. They're putting the bikes on the van. So we're gonna head in the van and drive to the start point of death road. Yeah. And we've been given a long stretch. So guys, you can jump in your limousine, please. We're gonna carry your on limousine. now. So we are now driving along death road and to be like, we're up in the clouds. Like, you can't actually really see over the edge. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Like, <laughs> do I want to be able to see over the edge? Maybe. Or maybe I don't. Go, go, go. Come this way. And come in this way. <laughs> Are we going to be famous? Yes. <laughs> Hope so. So, chicos, welcome to Chuspipata. Chuspipata will be the name of the village where the death road gets started. We are on 3,313 meters over the level of the sea. That means that we've done already 1,400 meters of pure down. As you can tell, temperature has increased a little bit and the most enjoyable part will be that the colors have changed completely. We started from really dark colors like brown and black and so on, and now everything looks green and it will carry on changing in that way until we reach the door of the Bolivian Amazon in a few minutes. Okay, it might be quite distant on the camera, but this road here, this is Death Road, and then we're gonna be going around that corner. Mm, I can only imagine the cliff gets a lot steeper as you go around that corner. Okay, the helmet's gonna go back on. Actually, glasses off first. Then helmet on. Then glasses back on. 
Perfecto. Now let's switch to the GoPro on my head. So chicos, we're about to start now. 32 kilometers of test road are already waiting for us. A little detail guys. Please chicos, this is not like the first section of the tour where we can go 50, 60 kilometers per hour. The recommendation will be to start and relax a little bit. This is Mirador Balconcillo and it's the highest point of the death road ah, with the biggest a, cliff drop of yeah. a 700 yeah. meter cliff drop. We can't quite see it to its full extent obviously because of the clouds but um, if you were to like throw something over the edge it would take 7 to 10 seconds to reach the bottom. Very high. I tell you what, it hurts your hands because you're constantly wobbling along the stones and then you've got to have your hands on the brakes as well. So I feel like I might have st stiff hands tomorrow. But it's amazing, the scenery is just incredible. Just uh, de-layering because the further down you go in altitude, the much warmer it becomes. So I'm currently boiling. I have Coca-Cola, I don't drink Coke, but um, I'll have jelly. Thank you. It's a little snack break. Planted light. And I might so get a banana. Everything well. is in, your coke is in here, okay? Jello and, the side of the table. and coke. Good combo. The next ride, we're going to go through this waterfall section here where we can't use our front brakes because it's not very safe. So we're just going to use um, the back brakes. And yeah, you'll just notice that it's going to get a lot greener. It's going to get a lot warmer because we're now essentially going into the Bolivian Amazon jungle, which is very exciting. I really didn't think that in one day, purely on a bicycle, I could get from like the heights of the altitude of the rocky mountains of Bolivia into like the depth of the Amazon jungle. Who would have thought? successfully completed death road we made it all the way to the end and if i'm not wrong i think that was about 50 kilometers that we cycled along death road which is absolutely crazy um but so much fun so so beautiful my gopro or my helmet did run out of battery towards the end so i didn't get all the footage but i think i got a good section of it and as you can see, we are at a swimming pool. We've just had a nice little buffet lunch in this hotel area. We also had a few drinks after we finished the bike ride. And now, before we head back to La Paz, we are just enjoying the warmth of being down at 100, no, not 100, 1,000 meters of elevation, which is obviously a lot warmer than La Paz, which is at like 4,000 meters of elevation. So yeah, it's a nice tropical environment by the pool. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see the beautiful view that we have in the distance up here over uh, the mountains we've got palm trees honestly this is just i was not expecting to be in my bikini in bolivia whatsoever i thought it was just going to be entirely mountainous so it's been a really nice pleasant surprise to be here um and also <laughs> Crazy to think that we cycled through climates. Like we started off on obviously just like the cold, rocky climate. And then we've literally just cycled down into a tropical, warm, idyllic climate. It's absolutely crazy, mind boggling, but great. Um, what a day. It's been absolutely fantastic. So I'm hopefully not going to get sunburned. I've already been bitten a bunch of times. That is the downfall of being in an environment like this is that the mosquitoes get you um yeah my legs have already been bitten to death but um yeah hopefully i won't get sunburn um and we will head back to la paz shortly the 
views were absolutely insane heading back to La Paz and that is where I will end this vlog. To recap the details of the day, I booked this excursion with Altitude Travel Agency, which is attached to the Wild Rover Hostel. The full day excursion included all equipment, transport, guides and lunch and cost 600 bolivianos. There was also an option for it to be 500 bolivianos for a less good quality bike. I'm glad I went for the more expensive option though, to be honest, because it really does help to have a better suspension on the very bumpy death road. From speaking to other people, I have heard that you can do this tour with other agencies in town for as cheap as 250 to 350 bolivianos. So in hindsight, it seems like it's definitely worth it to shop around town. However, I still don't regret going with Altitude because it was of course very convenient to book and everything about the day was super organized and professional. I felt very safe and very looked after the whole day and I would recommend them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.